Welcome to my thought for the day for Friday the 26th of February and today we're looking at being saved. And I'm going to use the first three verses of Psalm 18 to help us think about that. Where the psalmist read this, I love you Lord my strength, the Lord is my rock, my fortress and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call to the Lord who is worthy of praise, and I have been saved from my enemies. One of the feelings that I have experienced during the pandemic is being overwhelmed from time to time. Overwhelmed with the decision making, overwhelmed by data, overwhelmed with frustration, overwhelmed by the enormity of the situation, overwhelmed by helplessness, not being able to affect the decisions of government. Even with the roadmap being published and life returning to normal on the 21st of June or by the 21st of June, that might only be a start. The long-term costs of the pandemic will be felt by many for many years to come. Now, of course, we all have had different feelings during this pandemic. How, however, I wonder if you too, from time to time, have felt overwhelmed. The psalmist in Psalm 18 had the experience of being overwhelmed, overwhelmed by his enemies. Yet in the midst of this experience of helplessness, he could also cry out to God, his rock, his strength, his fortress and his deliverer. God was his salvation and it was God who saved him from his enemies. It is God, therefore, who is worthy of praise, even in the midst of of a pandemic. As Christ saved us through the cross, even in the midst of feeling overwhelmed, we can cry out and know that we have been saved. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call to the Lord, who is worthy of praise, and I have been saved from my enemies. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.